Hello, I'm Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld and I want to talk to you for a minute about the Department of Motor Vehicles and their physical and mental reevaluation procedures. The Department of Motor Vehicles has been receiving a lot of funding and pushing physical and mental reevaluations in the last couple of years. Physical and mental reevaluations are often referred to the Department of Motor Vehicles either by a medical professional or by law enforcement and sometimes by family members. Usually what I will see in my office is that someone is involved in an accident and it doesn't matter if the person is young or old, it's across the board. Someone's involved in an accident and they answer questions when the police show up and they tell the police officer, I don't know what happened. And that triggers in the police officer's mind a question as to the mental competency of the person that they can't remember what happened. So they fill out a form and mail it off to the DMV. When the DMV receives it, they will send notice to the driver of a re-examination. It may be a priority re-examination where we move very quickly or a regular re-examination where we have a little more time. If we don't act quickly, the Department of Motor Vehicles will suspend the driver's license. The Department of Motor Vehicles is concerned that the person is not fit or not safe to drive. Sometimes this is the case, most of the time it is not. But the process requires a examination, a written examination, a eye test, a visual examination, as well as an interview process with a Department of Motor Vehicles hearing officer. When this is completed, the person may be referred for a driving test. So they have to do a re-examination of the entire process. Given time to prepare, this might not be a problem. But a lot of times these hearings go very quickly and people don't have adequate time to study. It's important that you get representation to help you through the process to let you know what steps to take and when and help you prepare for the examination, not only the written examination, but the examination or the interview process with the DMV hearing officer. These cases are very fact specific and they require not only written information, but an oral exam as well. There will also be a requirement to get information from your treating physician, from your doctor, and we're going to need to get that paperwork underway right away so we can provide that to the DMV and make sure that it is complete and accurate and explains what happened, when, and why. For more information about Department of Motor Vehicles physical and mental reevaluations, please call my office. You can reach me, Attorney Mark Rosenfeld, directly at 310-424-3145. 310-424-3145. Give me a call and we can talk or we can schedule a time to meet in the office. Thank you and good luck.